100 pages, we call it a big dairy, in it? 13,000 cups in Chicago, Los Angeles 7,000. Here, 100 million dollars a month, Los Angeles 7 million. I'm sorry. Have to focus. We're outside of NBC Tower in Chicago. Jamie, why are you here? To expose the corruption. What corruption? The corruption that, that uh, people think that all the crime is outside, which most of the crime is inside the courtrooms. All right, you're, t you're telling me corruption inside the courtrooms in Chicago? In Chicago and all over the country. But Chicago happens to be the dirtiest, most corrupt city in the whole United States. What makes you say that? Do you have any proof of that? We have all the proof. Who's... The proof, all hold the, on, hold on. Who's we? Me, Jean, Linda. Jean... Some, Jean Zorg. And Linda... Linda Aker, who made a book, who made this book, Death of the Justice System. The book that most people don't want to read because most people don't like the truth. They want half-truth, not the full truth. And this is for the good of all people. The, the death penalty, immigration, you name it, it'll help everybody. It helps the whole, everybody, because everything in this country has to go to courtrooms. And most people know courtrooms, we don't get a, a fair trial. So this book is going to be told, and everybody should read this book, because this book is very simple to read, and it tells you the truth. You no sound, lies. You sound pretty sure of yourself, Bob. Well, I'm sure. I'm so sure this is my fourth day here and Channel 5 and, uh, and uh, the Tribune, they don't want to come out here. They're about the news. They don't like this kind of news because they're, they're used to being told what to put on. And this is not what they want to hear. They like half truth. This is the truth. This is the... You can't get any better than this. The Conrad Black, that's nice. This is better than Conrad Black. The Verdoliac, Verdoliac is a small fry. We have people here that work for the city, city lawyers, judges, you name it, court reporters, the whole shebang, they're all in here, names. Petra Fitzgerald knows about it, but he just ignores it because he has to, he has a boss. And if this is America, United States, we should have justice and not change the name to something else because I believe in America we should get justice. And if we can't, let's change the name to something else. Because it's wrong. It's wrong. Because most people from all over the world come because they say this is a, a land of opportunity and everything. But they forget when they get caught up in something. Sometimes they lose their whole lives, their businesses. Because here in, 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 in uh, Chicago, if you're a do-gooder, you get, get down, you, you get brought down. But if you're a player that is a corrupt person, you get taken care of every way they can take care of you. But these per people forgot the, 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 the road to justice. Those are some pretty strong words you're saying here. I mean, you're saying that you've got proof of all of this in that, we in have that, proof. In that book. Yes. And there is no uh, statute of limitations on this uh, information because when you fraud in the court rules, there is no statute of limitations for fraud. You sound really passionate too. What what was it that led you to be here? I mean, you mentioned other names. Well, Were I've you been personally? thrown in jail by the sheriffs. The okay. sheriffs are covering up a lot of dirty stuff. The, the sheriffs in, in Chicago are the dirty. Chicago is bad. Chicago police are bad. But the sheriffs, they are the worst. They're out of hand. They threw me in jail for being in the courtroom. For being in a courtroom, somebody invited me. Were you disrupting the court? No, I was not disrupting the courtroom. And to prove that, I called the judge to get the audio tapes. The audio tapes, they were, he never answered me. And now I find out that the judge is dead now. My, my, my. The judge who was... Yes, that I, I went to to uh, just see there, the, to be there as... Uh, just to help a person because she was afraid. What now that she, judge is dead. I don't know what's going on of? in this town. You said you went to help a person. So, all right, let's... As a court, uh, as a court watcher. 
Okay, and what is what does a court watcher do? A court watcher just sits down in court and just watches the court. That's all. You just take notes. For that's how you do. for the purpose of? Well, the purpose was because with our case, we somebody set up a, a website, courtwatchers.com, and it was brand new and and somebody called and they called me up, hey, uh, we don't have any court watchers. So I said, okay, I'll go. And I I got two other guys and we went and uh, we went to the courtroom and uh, the, uh, the, the, the lawyer, one of the lawyers and the uh, sheriffs, they started looking at us and pointing at us and uh, we kind of got out of the courtroom. All the sheriffs were sitting, standing out there waiting for us and uh, they threw me in jail. And you, but you weren't disrupting? No, you, There was nothing, nothing unusual? Nothing. I got the tr court transcripts. I don't have the audio tapes. Okay. Because the audio tapes will never be given to anybody because this is a dirty court court place here. Everybody's hiding something. Patrick Fitzgerald, you have to clean up town. I know you're trying to clean up, but you know what? I'm sorry, you're going to hurt a lot of your friends. But you know what? If you believe in God, you have to do what's right. That's that. Your, your friends are going to get hurt, but those are your rich friends. The poor people are the ones that actually get hurt the most. The rich people, I'm sorry. You guys had it too good for too many years. And forget about the little poor guys. Us poor guys, we have rights. We have hearts and souls, just like everybody else, and families. And I'm going to stand up for everybody. And if everybody want, if anybody wants to join me, join me. If not, how long do you plan on staying out here? As long as it takes. This is my fourth day. Whatever it takes. So tomorrow, Mother's Day, you'll be out here too. Yes, I will. Okay, Jamie. If everything you're telling us is true, then I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.